hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another video in this lesson we're going to continue on from where we left off in the last video in the screen shake script and I'm going to come at the bottom of the script here and create and I made this type public void And I'll just give this naming convention of shake screen. And we'll begin with an if statement. So if open and close brackets inside the brackets, phi camera dot get component. We'll open and close brackets again. And we'll say screen shake, open and close brackets here, dot, underscore, said screen position, double equals false. We'll come to the end of the line, we'll open and close brackets again. We'll just break this line up for commenting. If I'll put um, screen shake script variable underscore set screen pause is equal to false we'll come inside this set of brackets here we're going to say camera position equals transform dot position let's close our line off into the comments set camera position to equal the current position so we're just taking a snapshot of the camera position as it is at this precise moment we'll then set screen position to equal true close the line off so by setting this to true, we don't have this line being read more than once and overwriting the position once we've set it. And I'm going to come here after the first close brackets and we'll use start core routine open and close close the line off inside the brackets the quote marks and i'm just going to put shake we'll create this one next but i'll just quickly put this into the comments that we're starting that function and now we'll come and create another void so we'll make this one of type private i enumerator and shake so let's open and close brackets open and close brackets again we're going to yield return and of type new wait for seconds open and close close the brackets off inside the brackets screen shake time <coughs> so let's just put this into the comments Once we've waited the appropriate amount of time, so if this is false, let's just go through this if 
set screen position is false then we return in the fixed update so we actually activate this script by calling this function so it's going to be equal to false we set the current position we then set this to true so this will no longer be overwritten and we start this call routine while this call routine is running if we come back to the fixed update because set screen position is now true it can now implement the shake effect once we've waited for the appropriate amount of time we need to reset the fight camera to its position as it was so fight camera dot transform dot position is going to equal the original position which is this variable now camera position close the line off let's put that into the comments reset fight camera transform back to the and I'll put the original camera position you could put back to the original as stored in the camera position variable something like that if you if you need that um, once we've done that we can set the screen position back to false and that is this um, script now ready for testing so let's just save this off So let's now downsize Visual Studio. <coughs> Scene 1, I'll just attach the script to the fight camera. We'll come back to the splash screen, remembering to save and let's use one of these special moves so let's just have a look here so we'll use the um, first special move movement so these two next line of codes you don't have to use them for the special move you can add these two lines of code to any attack that you wish to have the shake effect so if collision game object equals tag opponent head or body hit we're going to say we're going to define actually game object underscore camera is going to equal a game object dot find game object with tag open and close brackets close that line off inside brackets the quote marks and again main camera so I'm just going to break this up for commenting so let's put create game object variable with name of underscore camera equals find I'll put fact equals the object 
with the tag of main camera and then we're going to say underscore camera and now we can use dot get component open and close brackets we'll get the screen shake script come to the end open and close brackets dot and we want to call the shake screen function sorry there should be an open and close bracket there so let's put this into the comments screen get the screen shake script component and call the shake screen function I'll just cap copy this new code I'll also paste it into body hit so let's just save that off and we'll hit play so as always we'll just just let this run through So I'm just going to back away from the opponent and then we'll execute the special move. So as you can see, hope, in fact, let me just move in a bit closer. you can see the screen shake is working there's a judder in the screen but obviously that's not good enough however it is working so let's stop that there we'll end this video with that little test showing that at least it is working and in the very next video, we will um, go through the script. We'll make a few little updates and tweaks. And we'll get that working far better. But we'll leave it there for now. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And as always, until then, bye for now.